Did you know that if you live in the United States, you can order up to four COVID rapid antigen tests for free. You don't even have to pay shipping and handling. It's absolutely free, no questions asked. Hello everyone, I'm Naveen Agarwal and this is great news because rapid tests are still in short supply and with Omicron flying around, we have to have these tests available to us. So this news is great news. And in case if you missed my last video where I talked about how you can get these tests, I will give you a link below as part of this video and you can go check it out. Now in that video, I also talked about the accuracy and my analysis of real world performance of four of the most likely tests that you might get as part of this program. Now I don't know for sure because nobody knows what brands are included. You cannot pick a brand when you order. So it was a guess on my part based on so much work I have done over the last one year about different types of tests and testing. And there are many videos on my channel you can find. So I looked at the four most likely tests you can get, you're likely to get, and looked at their accuracy data and analyzed it from a real world performance point of view. So it might be useful to you, but there was no way for me to know for sure and sure enough, some of my viewers have already reached out to me telling me they received the test and it was not part of the four I covered. So I'm going to talk about this particular test that people are already reporting to me they are getting as part of this program and its accuracy. I have the, the, this data. So share in the comments below if you have received a test as part of this program, if it is the test that I'm going to talk about here or the four tests that are in the previous video uh, or something different, please let me know in your comments and I'll surely look into the data for a test that I have not covered in the past. So in this video, I will discuss the accuracy and the real world performance of this test called iHealth COVID-19 at home test. This is part of the program. People are already reporting that they have received this test and I had not included that analysis in my last video. So we'll talk about that. We'll briefly discuss what those results might mean for you. But the main thing that I want to cover here is to briefly give you an overview of the accuracy of eye health COVID-19 at home test. So let's look into it. This is a self at home test. And you can order these free tests from covidtest.gov. Now, as I mentioned before, you will not be able to select which test is shipped to you. You might get this or you might get one of the four that I covered or you might get something else. But let me know in your comments below which one you get. This is a OTC over the counter rapid antigen test. It received FDA emergency use authorization in December of 2021. So it's pretty recent. It is used by adults and kids. Kids can be two years or older, but those very young kids an adult needs to collect the sample within first seven days of symptoms and uh, make sure this is a nasal sample, not a saliva sample. Do not use this for a saliva sample, it is only a nasal sample. And you should do this test best within the first seven days of symptoms. In fact, in the current scenario with Omicron, it is best to test even around five days, four to five days after your symptoms appear. So let's look into the test accuracy. We look at four things, positive agreement, and this is the agreement in the test result compared to RT-PCR result. So if I test 100 known positive samples from RT-PCR and I get 85 to be positive from this test, positive agreement will be 85 out of 100. So let's look at that data. In this case, 33 tested positive from this test when 35 were known to be positive from RT-PCR. So the positive agreement is 94.3%. Now on the negative side, we are testing known negative samples from RT-PCR. And in that case, they are finding 102 out of the 104 as truly negative samples. So the negative agreement is 98.1%. So these numbers look pretty good, right? That's what you will see in the instruction for use or all other paperwork that comes with the test. Now, this is not the same as what I call real world performance because it doesn't mean that if you test positive, there's a 94% chance that you are actually positive. Or if you test negative, there's a 98% chance that you are actually negative. And that is because this is done in a lab with known samples. 
you're going to be testing on your own and you don't know for sure if it is positive or negative. So we do a calculation and that calculation is called positive predictive value at 5% disease prevalence. So as assumption, if the COVID rate is 5% in your area, this number will be relevant to you. And again, I, I go into a lot more detail in my last video. You can check this out. So let's see what the PPV at 5% looks like for this test. It is only 72% and look at the range, 39.5 to 91. So if you test positive, there's a big range of confidence. It could be a false positive more than half the time. It is possible and many false positives have been reported. Now I'm not saying that it will be a false positive, but it can be. So you have to look at the result carefully, especially if you don't think you have a lot of symptoms, you're not, you're feeling okay and it still get a positive, you might want to confront that with an RT-PCR. Now NPV is net negative predictive value at 5%, same calculation, but now on the negative side. It's 99.7%, so this, this is very good. That means if you get a negative, very, very high chance that you are actually negative at the time when you do the test. Now, if you do the test the next day or two days later, you might get positive if you have been exposed and somehow symptoms are developing a little bit later. So in the moment, you have a negative test with a very high amount of confidence. So this is the accuracy result. It's not a bad test. It's very comparable to many other rapid tests out there. But I want all of us to understand that they can give us false results. They are not 100% accurate. This particular test has about similar performance compared to many other rapid antigen tests out there. So I hope this is useful to you. Let me know which test you get. And if it is something different than this test or the four tests I talked about in the last video, I look up that information and produce another video like that for you. Share with me your questions and comments or concerns or any other topic that you would like to learn more about and I will produce another video. Thank you for your attention and I hope all of you are staying safe.